it's a good um what am I trying to say? A good name? A good name for like a, a, a Johnson and Johnson. Uh, uh give me a lawyer's office that I'm trying to think of, because Johnson and Johnson is not it. Like an actual one or just made up? I don't know, like up? a made up one, but sa- that sounds right. S- strudel pastry and almonds. Wow. <laughs> Well, anyways, I was thinking Kegel and Schwinkter. <laughs> <laughs> you say wow to mine, and then that's what you say. Well, mine are... <laughs> you, wanted, you, you can't even recall what you said. So, I can recall Kegel and Schwinkter, at least. <laughs> Strudel, pastry, and almond. <laughs> Milk. <laughs> but yeah, it's always, it's always three names. Yeah. I've never heard three, honestly. Smith, Wilson, and Wellington? There you go. Smith, Wilson, and Wellington. <laughs> it's never three. It's always two, no? Smith and Maybe. Wellington. Maybe. I could be wrong. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not even a doctor. Well, what are you? Me. <gasps> Welcome back to another one, including him, Brandon. Yes. Hello, weirdos. Me, Steven. That was... I was like a robot. A, that was a really bad intro. And me, Steven. And you introduced me. You don't do that. I introduced well, me. Well, I gave you a breadth... A breadth... A breadth? A breadth... So that you would be able to introduce yourself after I kind of threw it at you? Well, I barely got a breath in. Hello, weirdos, and welcome to another episode of Tangents Tangents of of Horror. Horror. Did that sound scary, you think? No, I thought you were serenading someone. I I thought it was like... Maybe? I I was making it sound like you were possessed, and like I was a demon talking through you, and you know when the voice is overlaid? The voices. The voices in her head is what Helen hears throughout this movie, and we're reviewing... Helen! Candyman. Candy well, we're Man. reviewing Helen and Candyman. 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 Whoa, hey, Why slow are... down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right off the bat. That would be a very interesting podcast if you just start off. Whoa. I love that you say it like no, you something summon would him. happen. Yes. We su- just saw... An hour and a Lisa half. Just saw. Lisa just saw. Hi, I'm Brandon. This is my and co-host, I'm... Jar Jar Binks. Lisa just saw the candy man go to the mirror. Why are we reviewing Candyman? Well, because Why Acid Horrors told me. God damn it. He texted me in my sleep and he said, hey, Stephen, watch Candyman on your podcast. And I go, what? No, he said, watch Candyman. 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 <gasps> oh, Candyman. Jesus. <laughs> Handyman. I swear to God. Sandyman? There he is. Well, there we is. We're reviewing Candyman for Acid Horrors because he made me. He requested it, so we put it in the box that shall not be named. That we name at the end of every podcast. It's our box. It's of pretty much the Necronama guys. box. That's what I yeah, always say. Yeah. Well, you it name just, it. It rolls off the tongue. The box that shall not be named, or well, actually, both. Necronama box. That too. Okay. Maybe it shouldn't be named because it's like Candyman. You can't say it five times. This opening shot. The opening credits opening. scene. What about the people in the movie and the people who made it and the budget? I know them. The facts. I we know need them. To give them the facts. I never thought this to be a factful show, but go ahead. Well, we always say how much. I always the budget lie. Was eight to nine million? What? Wow. Eight to nine million? Yeah, about eight to nine million. Why don't we know? There. That's what they told me. Million dollar discrepancy. It's crazy. Where they put it? I don't know. Hmm. In their pocket. <gasps> Their cargo pants, maybe a, shorts. I need a burp. Okay, that looked very intense. And wanted, almost like it hurt. Yeah, I didn't want it to take over me. Guess how much it made at the box office? Fourteen million. No, you crazy? Three point eight million. Twenty five point eight. I'm crazy. Yeah, because it wasn't high enough. Oh, and guess where it had its world premiere? This is pretty cool. Norway. <laughs> no, France. That would have been cool too. Chicago, Illinois. No. Closer to home. New York. Something that you may not have known was actually around in 92, because I didn't actually think it was around in 92. Hamilton. The play? No, the place. My computer just yelled at us. (laughs) You don't listen to the voices, dude. I'm sorry. So, uh, no, it was at TIFF in 1992. That's where it had its world premiere. We've been in the industry for a while, I think. We've made a name for ourselves. I didn't know it was around that long, though. Yeah, I love that guy. Written and directed by Bernard Rose. Love. Good old Rose. I, has, is he notable for anything else? Not that I know. Oh, okay. Like, I don't... He, he does have other movies, but I have never actually seen them. I'm not going to lie to you right now, because that would be rude. Any of them notable? Um, recognize them? 
So we got Red Red Wine. Oh, those are music videos. Smart Money, Body Contact, Paper House, Immortal Beloved. They kind of sound like... Oh, he made a sex tape. Creepy. 2013. No, it's a... Frankenstein 2015? Yeah, I don't recognize it though. What the fuck? Yeah, with like numbers oh, in the name. Yeah, it's, it's probably like, a like modernized. modern. Oh, yeah. yeah, it says it modernized. Wow. Samurai Marathon. <laughs> it's just a straight up Japanese film. Beautiful. Oh, I want to watch that in my spare time. Holy shit. Interesting. But yeah, I've none of the I've never yeah. heard of any of those to be honest. Cool. And but he c- did do this movie yeah. and this movie's good. The cinematography was fucking cool. Y'all don't know how much he had a hand in it or his Oh uh, dude, Anthony B. Team. Richmond did yeah. a fantastic job. Yeah. He even worked on the Beatles Let It Be. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, in nineteen seven D. And he's been going up until like twenty twenty one. Eighty years old. Sweetest thing, Cherry Falls, Tales from the Hood. Legally blonde. Whoa. Dude, he's a hero. Hero. The Immortals, Shade. Dumb and Dumber. The first one? Do you see the first one anywhere? Because I just no. see the second one. Oh, wait, no, this isn't even... The Sandlot? No way. Oh, my Hell goodness. Hell yeah. Now he, he really is my hero. Oh, beautiful. You're killing me, Smalls. Sandlot, Sandlot, Sandlot. You've never even seen it, have you? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know what it is. I know of it. I had it on VHS. And you didn't watch it? It didn't interest me. I don't like... Uh, when I was young, I didn't like watching a group of kids do stuff. That's like my favorite premise of a movie. Yeah. Because they need more movies where it's a group of adults, too. Like, yeah, it's yeah. always just... Like, it, it. it's always a group of adults, but usually they get split up where it doesn't feel like a group anymore. It, it doesn't feel like a group because the individuals aren't per, uh, extensive personnel and play roles. Perfect example, Stranger Things. Yeah. When they're kids, in the first few seasons, they're always together. And yeah. as soon as they're like all yeah. little grown up, they're all in like different provinces or yeah. uh, states yeah, and yeah. all over the place. And yeah. I like it when it's just... Yeah, just a gangly group of... A little war. Yeah. Yes. Casting. Virginia Madsen as Helen. I loved her. Helen. She was great. Oh, do we know the opening girl? No. That actress? No, she was great too. Well, probably if you want to look it up. I don't. She was great. Which oh, the one telling the story or the, the one, one in the flashback? Oh yeah, she was pretty yeah. great. Uh, we have Tony Todd, the legend, as Candyman. They're great. Xander Berkeley as Trevor Lyle. Mm. Vanessa Estelle Williams as Anne Marie. Trevor is the husband. Is the dick husband? Jesus, and he's so he's so mean. Yeah. Gilbert Lewis as Detective Frank Valento. Love that guy. Good detective. Ted Raimi as Billy. We just watched him in Evil Dead 2. Billy. A little boy? No, he was the cool guy in the opening. Yeah, apparently I didn't get her name. I got his name. <laughs> Billy. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that, with the biker oh, jacket. Oh, okay. That summons... Yeah. Uh, that goes to the babysitters. Yeah, which is cool. We get a Candyman story right off the bat. Yeah. And Cassie Lemons as poor Bernie Walsh, the friend of Helen. She was just trying to be a friend. Oh, yeah. Sucks to suck. And she didn't even say the name. No. The last time. She said it four times. Yeah, that's right. Rude. All right. I think we can get into it. Okay. That was a pretty good cast. The opening credit sequence was better than Alien. I said it when I saw it. That's a very interesting um, comparison to well, bring because up. because they had uh, names on the screen in the opening shot. <laughs> And since I haven't this watched any I have movies, to live with. and since I don't <laughs> watch any other movies, I just thought Alien did that first. Okay. Um, <laughs> this did it better. Uh, it was just a fucking helicopter shot it on was great. pace with cars, so it was going the same speed as it, so it looked like the cars were just... Good old Chicago traffic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it looked like it was stationary in the center screen, and it was just flying over Chicago. And you had some great music to go over top of yeah. it, which I didn't think we said who the music was by. It's no. by Philip Glass. He do he do anything? He's from he Maryland. Did, he did do stuff. What did he do? It's a good question, Paris? Stephen. He's French. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's done. Oh, he did the Truman Show. Great. Oh, I need to watch that. Um. I keep oh, he does it. the sequel to this. Oh. Wait, you you never seen the Truman Show? No. Oh, that's a good I've one. I've been watching it on TikTok. <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, nineteen. Uh, he finished a new soundtrack. Makes from sense. That's. That's actually an idea I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Because a lot of those old school movies are like, um, what is it, like copyright free? What's that called? Um, I know what you mean. Uh, free use? Free use or yeah. whatever. 
So you could literally, well, I mean, you yeah. can do it to any movie as long as you don't sell it. Yeah. But a lot of those old movies, I always wanted to pick one and do like a new album for or, or remaster to reimagine. Yeah. Even, even to just watch it and yeah. have that play, especially yeah. like the silent ones. Oh, yeah. Secret Window. Oh, that's cool. I mean, that's a Stephen King one with oh, cool. Johnny Depp. Oh, right on. He's done, done quite a bit. Fantastic Four. Some Battlestar Galactin. Grand Theft Auto. Yes. Oh, he Oh, he must write like pieces too because yeah. it says it features one of his songs. Well, a couple of his songs. Very cool. Uh, a couple of them were used in the trailer for Watchmen. Nice. And season three, chapter six of Stranger Things. Oh, yeah. He uses a couple of his songs too. Very cool. Yeah, I'm wondering if the because it says like window of appearances. Yeah, I think this is in another language, so I'm not going to try it. But then it says in brackets from Aknaten. So maybe it's and an then album. it says prophecies from Koyanis Skats. Yeah, Skatsy is that an I? I can't. Yeah, I think yeah. so. So I think maybe those are albums. So that's cool. Yeah, he does movies, albums, and didn't it say? Um, is he a comp- like a full on composer of? I would assume symphony. Jesus, he has some credits. Contemporary, classical, film score. Minimalism. Nice. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, there's a we lot like of him. great it was people very, working yeah. on this movie. Yeah, they got together the fucking dream team. His music was super like gothic, mm-hmm. a lot of organ, a lot of choir. I will admit the choir was a bit too much in some scenes, mm-hmm. but we'll we'll get to that Didn't bother later me. on. I liked it in the intro. Yeah. The yeah. intro was really great, like you said, with the aerial shots, yeah. Chicago traffic. The music added to it because it kind of gave you a feel of what's to come. Mm-hmm. Cause it was very gothic, different than what most people are used to because it's 1992 when this came out. Right, yeah. So after the 80s, you're used to like those low synths and yes, oh, all that crazy shit. And does this scene come after when we get the Candyman speaking to us with the B imagery? Yeah, it goes from yeah. the traffic to the B imagery, okay. and it's kind of like a opening crawl, except yes. it's a narration, and we just see all the bees. Yeah, I think when we see those bees, we're looking at his chest, maybe. Okay, yeah, that we find yeah, out because... is where they all live. Yeah, yeah, that's the beehive. And can you recite the uh, the monologue he made? Hell no. Okay, only the one part where he likes to cut people from their groin, groin to, to their, their gullet. Gullet is that gullet? It? Oh, good. What's a gullet? I well, figured well, it was. Yeah, I flicked my neck for like, the people at home. Like the chicken gullet? <laughs> no, that's the the gobble. Oh, the <laughs> gobble and the gullet. <laughs> the gobble, gullet, and gooch. Oh, well, that's that's lower. I it's from the it. well, it's a no, groin. Oh, it would have been funny if you said gooch. <laughs> yeah, from, from the, the gooch, gooch to, to the, the gullet. Guggle. <laughs> Either way, it's fucking creepy. Everything he says in the movie, yeah, is insanely like very gothic. Dracula, Shakespearean almost. Yeah, yeah. He almost has a reverb. He just does has have reverb all the time. And also, I was going to say about the opening, it reminded me of The Shining. Have you seen the original Shining? No. In that one, it's the family driving to the hotel, but the hotel is like up in the mountains. Yeah. So it's these crazy aerial shots of just them in the car and the car on the road by itself. But it also has this really creepy... Mm-hmm. Um, symphonic yeah, yeah. Uh, soundtrack over top of it. This almost felt like a uh, a modernized version of that because that one's all forest and mountains and yeah. this was all Chicago yeah, and roads dilapidated and Dilapidated Chicago. And, and then, yeah, it goes into the bees, his monologue, and we get the first flashback of the first urban legend story yes. of Candyman. And this is between Helen and... Students? No, I think she was talking to the the girl she took to South Chicago. No, I know she's there. Like, um, oh uh, right, yeah. There's one student talking about the candy man. Yeah, it's another blonde girl, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I think they're just hanging out somewhere. in the classroom. Yeah, she's but it's like classroom. after class yeah. or something. Uh yeah. What does she say? And she's yeah. She's this is where we see Billy. Helen is gathering content for her story, so she's recording the conversation she's like oh there's this like rumor called candy man where if you look in the mirror and say it five times because this babysitter did it he'll come and get you and yeah. then she explains the whole babysitter story of how there's this chick who was a babysitter and she invited some hunk over damn right it was a hunk it was ted Raimi. i couldn't tell you who that is sam Raimi's dad yeah the guy that plays the monster in the basement of the movie we just reviewed last week it was Henrietta. 
who who's is in my you know who what is his relationship to Sam Raimi? Brother. Oh. Yeah. Oh well, Nito. Mm-hmm. Two brothers, Ivan and Ted. And then Sam in, in the middle, I think. There's that's too many to keep track of. They well, should just combine into Ivan's one gonna entity. come up in the future. <gasps> it's true. Not today. He's a can't, like oh. future. Oh. But I thought another episode. I thought the third Evil Dead was in the past. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> don't yell at me. And then they do it. They do it? No, they don't. They well, they can. try to. Oh, the curse. The, no, the boy and the girl. Oh, the sex. Well, uh, they there tried was, to. No, they didn't. He grabbed a booby. Well, he tried to. Yeah. Okay, and it seemed like so. this was something she did with everyone, because when they're telling the story, yeah. or no, when they're doing it, she's like, everyone else only gets to four. Yeah. So it seems like it's her like foreplay tactic when she yeah. takes a guy home. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's weird because then it's weird she, I think she only says it once. Like something here, um, I didn't sit well with me because I think he says it the first four times and leaves or something, and then she says yeah. it or something like that. And like that. But to me, it, it should be one person no. that says it the whole time. She might have said it four times. With oh, and then him. yeah, and then he oh, says it the fifth. And time. then she said it the fifth. Yeah, just like when it happens again with. So then she does characters. finish it. Yeah, as long as some someone finishes it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we do get a, a pretty... Well, we don't see the kill, but it's pretty gnarly because yeah. the blood is seeping through the fucking floor yeah. onto Billy, who's waiting in the living room to get the sex. What a shame. It is a shame. Never wait before your bait gets... For the candy man. For the candy man? What? I said it a little late. <laughs> oh, don't wait for the candy man. Um, yeah, and then so the student finishes her explanation, Helen says thanks, and then she goes to her little husband's fucking classroom. Yeah, her husband, Trevor. This is a conflict of interest if he, she's in her class, that's all I'm I saying. I don't think so. Because if you're paying to go to university, if you want to <laughs> cheat yourself through it, they're probably just going to be like... But they have, like, integrity code, where you can't cheat on tests. Otherwise, everyone would just cheat. No, I don't mean cheat on tests. I mean, like... Well, that's the whole purpose, is that the guy would just say A+, plus no matter what she put in. Well, then her paper has to be probably... Yeah, for, um, because of conflict of interest issues. No, what the fuck is... Um, teacher's assistant? Yeah, the TAs? teacher's assistant, yeah. probably. Because there's a conflict of interest. That's all I'm saying. Okay, but she can't be there. Because yeah. she is. But I'm going to... Be glaring at her the whole time. Just like he was glaring yeah. at his students, My Stacey, goodness. With sexy eyes. Dirty, dirty man. Fucking Trevor. <laughs> Come on, Trevor. <laughs> you know better. It's just rude, man. Yeah. Rude. Yeah, he's like finish, finishing up class. She goes up, introduces herself as the wife. Yeah, the... and she's like, what's up with that? Yeah, yeah. What's up with that, Stephen? Well, what's what's she up? referring to? Sorry? Did she say, what's up with that? Yeah, she says, like, what would, because Stacy couldn't look at her right in the eye. She asks him right away, like, oh, so what's right. up with your student? He's yeah, like, yeah. oh, he's, she's in love with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he plays it off right away. Yeah. And then she's sitting in another part of the school with, um, uh, what happens? Margaret? Oh, yeah. She's like, she's just working on her own. Is and Margaret she's... her name? Her, her friend? Uh, no. It what is Bernie. Bernie Det. Right? Bernie Det? Yeah. Bernie for short, because it's less. I don't know le- her. Because it's know. less letters. I don't know her like that. You do now. Okay. We saw her die. We're pretty personal. Thank you, Bernie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no, but she's sitting on her own, Helen, not Bernie. Yeah. And the janitors are there, or one janitor. Yeah, yeah. She's like, "What are you doing?" She's like, "Candyman." <laughs> she's like, "Candyman." You know him like that? I like Candyman. <laughs> well, actually, my friend likes Candyman. And she's like, "Really? <laughs> Can I Call talk your to your friend?" Yeah, sure. <laughs> you think you can uh, hook a, uh, set up a meeting? <laughs> yeah. Peeks oh. her head out the door. Hey, friend. Kitty. Oh, yeah, it was Kitty. It was Kitty. Kitty. <laughs> and then when she went... <laughs> Did she really? No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, that would have been funny. Psst, 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 psst. Kitty. I, mean, I don't know my... why I did the Hannibal Lecter first. I sucked in. I went... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good question. Instead of... <laughs> Touche. Those Touché. two are really opposite now that I think about it. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Those are just the the shadow. Oh. Hannibal Lecter is the shadow of a kitty cat. Of, of the candy man. <gasps> but yeah, the friend has another story yeah. that actually happens is in the newspapers mm-hmm. of uh, Cabini oh. Green. Cabrini Green. I that's forgot the, the R. That's the neighborhood. Yeah, it's the neighborhood. Yeah. And a girl died there yeah. because 
She heard some shit behind her mirror yeah. on the wall. Called the police. The police was like, you crazy bitch. Yeah. And someone came in and killed her. Well, she called the police twice. And this really shows police kind of in 1993 Chicago, might I add. Terrible. Rude. They're just like, we don't believe you. Sorry, we're not and now, And now she dead. Now she dead. From her groin up to her gullet. It's, it could be. It could be. I think it did show. Which is funny because when she tells the story, Helen mentions like, and it was Candyman, and mm. she gets all weird, and she's like, I won't say. And it's like, oh, but yeah. she asked you to tell her a Candyman story. Well, she just told her a murderer story. No, because she asked the first friend, like, oh, you know someone that knows something about Candyman? Well, she once says, you tell name her drop. about Candyman. Once you name, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> tell me what you said about Candyman. That's right. That was exactly what she said. <laughs> And she's like, oh, I won't, I won't talk about it. All right, yeah, she's and like, then she's like, <laughs> you just I don't want did. to admit anything. <laughs> just telling you the events. It's just like a, a workaround or something? Yeah, you don't want to. It's like she she signed an NDA. The candy man <laughs> <laughs> served her. Now we see Helen doing more research where she's going through, like, those slide computer things. Yeah, the newspaper the, ones. Yeah, I think the newspaper's, like, actually in it. Yeah. She's sliding through it, and she sees, like, the, the Cabrini Green building. <laughs> And then her building. That sounds like a pasta dish. It kind of does. It, so, it sounds nice. Can I get a dish of Cabrini Green? Thank you. Mm. Or like a golf course. Yeah. Let's go uh, hit a few uh, balls at Cabrini Green. Let's I don't go. know golfers yeah. talk. Hey, here you go. Let's go hit the 18 hole on the Cabrini Green. Oh, yeah. You, you played Wii. Played what? Wii. And Mario Golf. Yes. That shit was oh, the best. So cool. That was bussin'. I wish I had a GameCube for that. Birdie. Oh. I heard that a lot because that's what I got. Was Birdo in that game? Mm, maybe. Because if Birdo got a birdie, oh, I might get a little flirty. That's all I'm saying. Go Birdo. <laughs> no? I don't, is I that, don't know. Is this a movie? No. No. Oh. This is real life right now. <gasps> right now? Right now. Oh, We're living shit. it. We're living it. Oh, I forgot. But it turns out that ha- Helen's building was also... Yeah, one of um, these old, a housing project yeah. building that was made into a condo. Yeah, they just put drywall over the cinder blocks, and I, they kept the consistency with that because when they go to the other building, it is cinder blocks. Nice, yeah. mm, wonderful. Uh, and she figures out that just through the she's looking at her fucking blueprints of her house or something that behind the mirror is just a medicine cabinet separating the two uh, condos. Big old hole. And she shows her friend, Bernadette. Bernie. <laughs> she shows her friend, Bernie Sanders, and said, here's what's the problem with housing, Bernie. And he goes, listen, I, uh, oh. I think that's what Bernie Sanders sounds like. Now let's go in onto an adventure. Yeah, she, she crawls through the hole. Yeah, she pushes the fucking medicine cabinet and says, don't worry, the apartment's vacant. Oh, wait, no, she doesn't crawl through this one. She just looks, peeks in. Yeah. It's when they actually go to the, that's right. the apartment buildings. The, the OG one. And it is a, at this point that they do say the name, though. Yes, yeah. They, and what confused me, uh, the first misunderstanding I have of this character is uh, Helen looks into the mirror and then looks at Bernie and goes, you really don't believe all this shit, do you? Or something akin to that. And I would figure someone who's doing a thesis on this sh- would hold a little bit more passion for the myth. And well, like, maybe it was Helen's idea and she was just... Like on board? No, no, no. Ber- uh, Helen said that to Bernie. Oh, yeah. And so at this point, you don't think Helen believes in it? I well, it's strange that she wouldn't believe in it. Mm. I believe that's how she. It was supposed to be portrayed that she didn't believe in it. But that you would, would think, make sense because yeah. why would she? Because they both say it four times, and then Helen leans in and says it the fifth, oh, and yeah. she's like, "You crazy, you scary bitch." No, oh, no, I think she says it five times in a row, and Bernadette just stops at four. That's what I mean. Like yeah. they say four, oh, and then yeah, Helen she, she leans into the yeah. mirror. And she thinks uh, yeah. Bernie's going to say it, too. And she's like, damn it. My, uh, yes. So, but yeah. my, my only gripe with that, though, is why... She so- should believe. Yeah. Or at least some have some sort of passion or or, or uh, rev- reverence. That's mm-hmm. the word I'm looking for. for no, the, yeah, I understand. For the myth. That makes sense. But it's not necessarily bad character writing, but I don't like Helen as a person. <laughs> Understandable. Yeah. Right? That is... It is kind of good story writing because she, she starts to believe. Yes. And right. that's kind of what the point and is. And that's, yeah, Candyman's whole gripe with her. Yeah. Too. She gets sucked into the the belief of yeah. the urban legend. Yeah. And then when she gets down to the real story, yeah. she stops believing and that's what brings them on. Yeah. So, yeah, her condo is basically the same as theirs. And we get, um oh, the first jump scare here 
is Trevor fucking pouncing on her in the middle of the night. <laughs> after, been... she, after she does the Candyman ritual, she's just like freaking out in her bed. And then... <laughs> so they want you to think, yeah. oh, shit's going to happen yeah. right now. But and no, Trevor it's just fucking Trevor. Just strikes her. Damn it, Trevor. Like a, a cat in the jungle. And then he's all like, well, I didn't think I'd scare you. <laughs> it's like she... three in the morning. Yeah. She's asleep. Yeah. And you just jump on and her. She screamed for like a sustained five seconds. Just, oh my God. <laughs> Poor girl. Fucking Trevor. Yeah. Why is he coming home so happy? Gee, I wonder. Oh, he got lucky. Yeah. Grading those papers. <laughs> grading something. So it's time to visit Cabrini Green with Bernie and me. And Bernie is locked and loaded. She's yeah. Got like four pepper sprays pepper and some spray, tasers, some tasers and shotguns some and a. Uh, samurai sword. She got it all. Tridents. Great gothic music here yeah. as they're driving there. It's yeah. creepy. It's we got, intriguing. We got our organs, yeah. It's inviting. I love the organ. It was so Which good. made me think so much that Candyman was a vampire. <laughs> kind of sort of is. Yeah, no, he's vampire adjacent. He's very much like Dracula, very, where he's very uh, like romantic. Yes. Like every time he talks to Helen, he yeah. puts her in a trance Like and Tuxedo shit. Mask from Sailor Moon. Yes. Thank you. Fighting evil by... Wow. Cabrini Green. I didn't know you would even have that much context for I, anything. I, I watched. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Don't. It's going to be stuck in my head. I don't want it. I don't want it. You the police. <laughs> no, Brandon. I'm Steven. I'm here co-hosting Tangents of Horror with Okay. You. Okay. We're all good then. <laughs> no, that's how they are uh, welcome yeah, into Cabrini There are some, Green. and I'm saying they're Crips. Brandon's saying they might be some general gang. But I'm. They were all wearing blue. I don't know my colors. Well, there you go. Colorblind brain. Blue. Is there a green? No. Just it was just Bloods and Crips. Oh, so just blue and red. I'm sure there's some other smaller gangs, but those were the ones with the big beef. I'd be purple. That'd be good, and you would be the piece between them, because that's red and blue put together. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> 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 I'd, I'd be the peacemaker yes oh because that's a real character and you'd be the pacemaker because i'm old <laughs> you're old and your heart's gonna stop soon um she goes to the uh the hood and meets the gang members and kill beanie green <laughs> i said cow beanie green i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna change it every time that's fine i'll let you know from i this get point what forward. you mean Caboni green she goes in this old apartment building and she's <laughs> Does she see the little boy first? <laughs> what, did she like Caboni Green? <laughs> no, because then I started thinking of them. So she goes to Calbasa Green. Calbasa <laughs> Green is great. <laughs> sounds like a fucking... Kobe Green. It sounds like a Kirby planet. Or no, in Mario World, they did uh, like donut planes. Cur- yeah. Calbasa yeah. Green would definitely be in that. <laughs> What yeah, does she so, do? Who does yeah, she meet? She's, right now, she's just kind of looking everywhere in the building, yeah. and she sees that giant mural. Well, not mural, but... Uh, graffiti. Graffiti, yeah. where we first see Sweets to the Sweet. Yeah, which isn't ever spoken, I don't think, in the movie. No, we just see it written everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So I'm wondering if, if this goes under the actual urban legend, or if the gang... Oh. That we meet later was putting that to scare people because it's also right. in the bathroom later, and yeah. those are the only two places we hear of it. And after he shows up, we never hear of it again. I would actually love a little. Well, actually, we kind of do. I totally forgot. Actually, we'll get there when we get there. It's coming up soon. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, this is the one. This is the part where she goes to Cabrini Green and finds the identical bathroom yes. as her. She's like, "This, see, this apartment's just and, like mine." Yeah, and this is the apartment where the uh, original. Woman Murder died. happened, yeah. yeah. Um, so she opens the medicine cabinet, and you just see the holes going all the way through. And this is when she's like, I'm going in. Yeah. And she's Bernie's like, like, all right, I'm staying here. Five minutes. Yeah. And then we get Helen look back through the mirror and put her hand up. On five. Says, five minutes. And then I went, I winked back at her because I knew, you know, say the name five times. Five. A lot of five, five motifs. I like fun. good fiver. Fun, fun, fun. High five. Now, I don't want to clip the audio. Did you audio. know High Five was invented in 1980s? No, I don't believe that. Okay. There's no way. I don't believe You're that. You're doing it now? <laughs> yeah, side note. There's no Go way. Go to the High Five Wikipedia page. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it should. It's like 70s or 80s, and it's from baseball, 81. The, the use of the phrase as a noun since 1980. Men's college basketball teams are in the 78, 79. <laughs> 
That's it, there baby. Many, there are many origin yes. stories, though. But the it, t- I do only see it goes back to 77. So, yeah, 19. Wow, that's Isn't it? Isn't that fucking crazy? It was just sports. I think we were doing it. I'm, well, I'm sure. We were doing these, and we were doing down lows first, apparently. Okay, so we mean the high. Okay, the high right. five where you reap. Uh, so just above slapping your head. hands. Above, it, yes, it's always that, been around. Yeah, Romans did it. They grabbed forearms, right? Similar stuff. But the, okay. the above your head high five was a seventy-eight in, invention. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> another yeah another Guys, origin listen, story first reported. Listen to Tangents of the Horror. You learn eight things not related to Candyman a day. It's in, it's in the title of the podcast. Yeah. What do you want? We warned you. We warned you right there but it's not for nothing <laughs> where were we no. <laughs> so she goes in the hole she finds candy man's lair yeah. and she finds the pile of candy and she's snapping picks on her disposable all over the place yeah jesus um no respect there's sharp shit in that candy a little it, razor blade yeah, she opens up a bag of candy and that's this never gets touched on again it's never this used movie, no yeah oh interesting oh um but um. yeah she's opening up halloween candy with razor blades in it and we also see the giant mural of Candyman with his mouth open. Yeah, so cool. And that's where the the hole is. The medicine so the, cabinet goes yeah. through. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, I and, love it. And the, this face is flashback at her whenever her eyes are flashing, or she's in a room that's with flashing lights. She keeps getting flashes of this, like she's mesmerized by it. The eyes look Hypnotic. really weird. Hypnotic. Hypnotical. Well, and the eyes were green. Same color. His eyes? Yeah, the mural's oh. eyes. Same color as Helen's eyes. Wink. Oh, wow. Wink, Cabrini wink. green. Cabrini greeny. Wink, wink. Calbasaline. <laughs> <laughs> what are you at the deli counter? <laughs> I just really want some calbasa. Yeah, now. 100 grams of calbasaline, please. <laughs> I'm going to take it to Calbini green. Then we get another little jump scare. Because <laughs> Helen so jumps through the fucking Bernie's hole. Bernie's sitting down on the fucking bathtub, just looking around, and there's just a wide shot of the medicine cabinet, and just Bernie sitting on the tub. <laughs> and then Bernie, Helen just Bernie sticks her face right out of it, and then Bernie <laughs> shits in the bathtub. Yes. What, what a, a mess! Good thing it was already nasty. And to mention dead baby doll in the bathtub. Yeah, you got excited about that, and I think they no, they didn't touch back on it. I think it was a, a little flashback in one part. I do yeah, remember right. seeing it again at some point. That's right. But this is where we get introduced to little Anne-Marie. Oh, little yeah. Neighbor, yeah. Little neighbor of the murdered lady. Neighbor girl. Little, I meant to say neighbor girl. Neighbor girl with baby boy. Neighbor girl with baby boy. Little baby Anthony. And big dog. Big dog, which we don't see the first time. Like when they first go into the apartment, you don't see the dog. And then she goes back later and the dog goes to the window. That may be right. Where did we first see it? the dog? So when she returns, I forget. No, it's not when she returns. I know we see it at one point when she first gets here. And I don't know. No, because it's... it's not. There's only a little scene in between this and when she returns on her own to talk to Jake or whatever little boy. Yeah. Because yeah. she goes back to visit uh, I know Anne Marine. And I... that's when I pointed out, oh, why is there a window on an apartment? Because yeah. the dog jumps up and scares her. And that's the I first know, time. But we... I know, but I don't think that's the first time. I think it was. Because I, I remember seeing him in the in the first like Calvina in the background, Green. maybe? Yeah, like I, her, she was, we see her and the dog. And maybe she might not say a word. Well, she's holding Anthony. I know that she's hold, She's creating like When Anthony. they come in. Before they come in. She might be in the entrance of the apartment room when oh, they maybe. say you don't belong here with the dog. That's Maybe, it. yeah. When they first walk by yeah. to the other apartment. Yeah. And she's like, what, you do, you do please? Yeah. And she's like, no, we're not cops. I'm just doing a story on the Candyman. Can you tell me anything? And then she basically just retells okay. of... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But the, as from the neighbor perspective... Perf- Yes, because she actually heard the screams yeah. and all that good shit. Yeah. And we learn about, what's her name? Anne-Marie. Anne-Marie. She's got a baby boy. She's... Which we said. She's not gang affiliated. No, she's just trying she to be a pink. good mom. She's wearing pink with her name tag on. Yeah, which would have been a good twist later. I'm just saying. Yeah, she was like a waitress somewhere. No, I know, but oh, oh, there's only twist. one other part that's yeah, that that's pink. pink. Yeah, that's pink. And then we get the, mm, yeah, so you don't remember my paper on Candyman yeah. 10 years ago. Ha, 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 she decides ha, to have ha. dinner with this this fool, this journalist, I assume, right? Some sort of journalist historian, or historian yeah. um, professor, professor. Probably. Thank you, yeah. Because <laughs> she's sitting with Trevor. Yes. With uh, 
looks like a group of his friends yeah. that are like colleagues. And he explains how there's the Candyman origin story traces back to 1890. 19, I think. That's what I wrote. I think it's 1890. No, I think it was 1819. You might be right because it looked like the clothes from 1819. So who was Candyman? He was the son of a he, slave. He was the son of a slave who got rich somehow? Yeah, I forget. <laughs> I didn't write. I just said father got rich. He maybe he Something inherited with shoes. Ah, the his father invented a um, automatic shoemaker that mm. was contracted out for the uh, World War One. Okay, yeah. So that means they had money, and yep. Candyman was sent to all the best schools. Yes, yeah. and he was an artist and was raised in very polite company. <laughs> mm, yes, ha ha ha. ha. And he could draw, and yeah. paint. So he was hired by some rich dude to draw his daughter. <laughs> Yeah, in her insert, virginal beauty. Insert Titanic scene. Yes. I and want they you fell to in love, of I course. want you to draw me like one of your French F- girls. French girls. Wearing yeah. this. Wearing only this. Is that what she says? Yeah. I've never watched a like that, Titanic all the way through. I have a couple times. In theaters. I bet you've paused it there, too. In theaters. No. Yeah, in theaters. Was there an actual nudes, nude body scene? You see boobies. Wow. Yeah. Okay, nice. As Jack draws her. Yeah. And she's wearing nothing but the, I forget what they, the jewel of the sea or whatever it is. <gasps> that blue necklace. The family necklace. jewels. The family jewels. Oh, the jewel. Family jewel. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he fell in love with this daughter because he was, you know, painting her boobies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he actually impregnated her. How, now, how does that, how do you jump that step? Where you, what do you mean? You're painting a girl and then she's having your child. Well, I'm sure... Do you think there, there was, was stuff a, in between? Maybe, or, unless it was just one night of passion, like which it could have been. Because, like an immaculate birth, because there was a lot of religious motifs, so let's not rule this out. Mm-hmm. Well, that, <laughs> well, no, I was because now I'm actually thinking Good. it. When you're hired to do a painting, sometimes, like back then, it took a long time. Right. So it, it could have happened right away, or just one night of passion, or maybe yeah. they fell in love. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And it was a secret for a while, and maybe the pregnancy is just what gave it away. I, I, my, I'm suggesting there was no love making. Oh, and it was a immaculate birth, which means oh, that she, she was a virgin, a, a candy Jesus. Because he mentioned that he was Easter. Yeah, her eggs. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. Her eggs. No, I know, but okay, I just mean yeah. like this whole thing. Was... What well, we got there, and it makes sense now that we all said that. Oh yeah, so it's true. Yes, yeah, so it's true. As now. long as it makes sense, it's true. But no, they didn't like this, so they had to they had to get rid of Candyman. Get rid of Candyman. We're... Actually, no, the father couldn't even do it. He yeah. hired what? Do, uh, what did they call them? He called on brutal hooligans, <gasps> not just hooligans. Brutal. That's... You got to call the brutal ones. That sounds like a spinoff of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> brutal. Yes, for well, yeah, like uh, oh fuck, I remember when I was five, I asked for Mortal Kombat for Christmas, <laughs> yeah. and I got brutal hooligans. <laughs> Come on in, fight. <laughs> That's what they would say. I don't know why they got bad voice acting. Low budget. What yeah, they do? could only hire Steven. Yeah. Come on and fight me. How'd they kill him? Because it's sad, but crazy. Him? How'd they kill Candyman? Oh, they stripped him naked and covered him in honey, and there was hungry, hungry bumblebees. But he, they chopped his hand off first. They chopped his, his hand naughty off. hand. His naughty hand from his, all his crimes. Because that's what touched the boobies. That's what touched the boobies. He chop his hand off. Uh, did they already put the hook in it? I was going to say, did they stick the hook <laughs> in for some they reason? For... <laughs> I don't know why. I don't, I don't think they said sick. that. I don't think he said that. I could be mistaken, but it doesn't I really know, make right? sense. It doesn't make sense, but I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, because I, no, I think he just the, said they there cut was his some hand off. To this movie. And the, because it was done in Cabrini Green. And yes. at that point, there was a, a B, uh, yeah. I forget the word, but let's say sanctuary, yeah, yeah. where they ran and grabbed all the honeycomb and, sh- and honey yeah. and shit and just like threw it at him. And apparently these, these bees were hungry to the point where they stung him. Like, this would be true, but I don't think if no, you no, covered no. anyone in not honey. Not only do bees not eat honey, I don't think. Yeah, that's, what, that's the not yeah. true part. I mean, if you were stung that many times, you they would They wouldn't die. eat flesh. Well, they would sting you. That's what he, yeah. he got. He was just getting an allergic reaction. Well, if you were completely covered, I think your whole up. body would go into shock. And because maybe they burned them too, didn't they? Yeah. So was that a pyre or some shit? Anyway, maybe not. I think no. I don't think they did. It was pretty just... crazy shit, though. Yeah. And a waste of honey. Yeah. I like honey. 
It's infinite. <laughs> have you ever eaten a honeycomb? Yeah. Like a real one? I have not. Is thought, it good? Um, Like, does it just taste like honey with some sort of a yeah, hard like texture a, to it? Fuck, it was so long ago. I went. It was a field trip I did. Almost sounded like you're gonna talk about a drug trip. I oh, had it a while fuck. ago. I went. Yeah, I went. I was on, gone. I went on a DMT trip and just ate a bunch of honey. There is honey like that, eh? Oh yeah, the mad honey that harvests in like a fucking mountain that yeah. guys are like hanging off of by <laughs> sticks and like it's yeah. seriously look it up. It's scary. <laughs> it's I don't a, know if it's worth it. It's just a bunch of demigods making this <laughs> trippy honey. I forget why it's trippy. Probably something they harvest like uh, yeah, I don't know pollinate or whatever. Yeah. So that's usually how the honey. Mm incorporates whatever else into it yeah but yeah that's how he dies and becomes this crazy urban legend yes that that scares millions it's talked about on street corners and what was fantastic about this scene what? is the entire time it's not looking at him it's just doing this really slow close-up of helen's face yeah um showing her expression to it yeah and actually this is when she revisits the building because remember it's doing that yes and then i think it turns to the bees again and then her in the yeah. apartment and you were like that was yeah, a really it cool transition right from a dinner scene where he, this guy's just explaining this and then it's it, it, there was no flashbacks to candy man maybe the man 18 yeah no yeah it was no just, no the story no there was yeah. no visuals and always whenever there's close-ups on helen in this sort of hypnotized state the camera does the same shot where it's her face straight on, where it's usually a slow zoom, and there's just a strip of light lighting up her eyes, and the rest of her face is a bit darker, and it's a really cool shot. And it doesn't necessarily even have to match the lighting that was there before. It adds this really cool effect. And then she's back at Cabrini Green. Back at Cabrini Green, crawling through there. She got a new roll of film, new disposable camera. And now we meet Jake, a little local boy. A little local boy after she comes out of the apartment. He's like, what the hell are you doing? You don't belong here. And he's like, I know Candyman. I know Candyman, but I ain't going to tell you. I ain't going to tell you shit. Because <laughs> I don't want to see Candyman. And then I said she starts predatorizing him. She's using all the tactics that a predator would. And it's like, well, if you don't think you're s s cool enough, then fine. And she's like, I'm going to... I'm going to go track him down. <laughs> yeah. I'm not scared. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, in my, in my mind, yeah. she was just acting like someone on his level. And I'm going to go to that scary house. You yeah. going to come with me? No. Well, I guess you're too scared. I'm still going to go on my own. And that's exactly what a predator does, <laughs> is go down to the kids' level so that the kids feel more okay on the same level as that's them. And um, for an adult to do that consciously, all I'm saying, check her computer. I don't know. I don't trust her. But her intentions were not that, so it's okay. Well, <laughs> it doesn't work out for her, and no, the kid doesn't. never trusts her again. Did you think at first that he knew Candyman was going to go do that to her? He was definitely ready for that. I don't think he had any foresight, but he... Like, I almost thought Candyman was going to slip him a 20 and be like, thanks. Yeah, thanks, bro. Because I think people in this neighborhood know about her now. Yeah. Um, So she's putting her nose where it doesn't belong. Yeah. So she meets Jake, he talks about Candyman, and he says, I'm not going to tell you about him, I'm going to show you. Mind your beeswax. Oh. Is that anything? No, but it's it's good here. Yeah, 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 it's good here. It is good. So it might be something. But she doesn't mind her beeswax. No. So we get another story about Candyman, about this mother and son who, her the mom sends the oh, son yeah. out because he's bothering her yeah. or some shit. And yeah. he, he goes into this public little bathroom that's just like sitting in the middle oh, of these parts. Like... It looks like a Slender Man. Actually, it looks like the Slender Man bathroom. Okay. You ever played the Slender Man game? No. It's exactly like that where it has those hallways and it's almost maze-like where it's just a brick wall and then a hallway and then two more brick things yeah. for terrifying bathrooms. Three and toilets. apparently as the kid went in there... Everyone yeah. could just hear a bunch of screams, and then when they went in, his... The, the, the mother went in like five minutes later. Five. And what happened? Um, what, there wasn't any... There's was something missing. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. They castrated the kid, and, well, Candyman did, not Throwing they. Throwing his gullet. And threw it into the... Uh, the opposite the the toilet stall. Yeah. Poor kid. <laughs> what's his name? Uh, what's the kid's Jake? name? Jake. When Little Jake's Jake. describing it, he's just like, and then they did that to him. There's no, there's no use living after that. You might as well be dead. <laughs> it was a, Jake was a great character. Yeah, just cold, hard line reads. It was so good. Uh, who played Jake? Um, that was me, dude. De, De, Juan, De, De Juan? Dewan Guy? 
Dewan. Hey, you got the du- you got Dewan guy. <laughs> Don't be asking for him no more. You got oh. Dewan guy. <laughs> I'm surprised there wasn't a link. Oh, maybe it was because... Oh, he's all grown up and he's jacked. Well, I was 92. Wait, no, that's the candy man. <laughs> Little Giants. Yeah, okay. I do recognize him from some stuff. Dirty Cops, Saints and Sinners. That's all he was in? I could have sworn I'd recognize him from other shit, You're too. not mentioning 1995's One Tough Bastard. Sorry, I never saw that one. <laughs> it looks so cool. Yeah, not he yeah. wasn't in very much. Interesting. Uh, he 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 gets his residual checks. That's it. Maybe I just recognize him from this movie because yeah. I haven't seen this movie in a long. I'm time. Surprised he didn't take it on TV shows either. Oh yeah. So she goes into this bathroom where this kid died, and she sees again sweets for the sweet. Yeah, but it's not very sweet because it's it's Blood. written into poo. Yeah, oh, is, that was poo poo. That was poo poo. It, it was brown. No, it was poo poo. Oh, bloody poo. That yeah, was poo poo. Maybe bloody poo. But Maybe poo poo. Because uh, she couldn't even stand the smell. Yeah, no, she was covering her little nose. Is she getting auditory hallucinations at this point? Not yet. What it's is after she, this? Is she? She's so she's just kind of stumbling around in this bathroom. Opening she's taking every... yeah, she's taking pictures at this point. She's oh, still right. doing her research. Yeah, yeah. Because then she kicks open the uh, the third stall, where... third stall where the toilet. It, yeah. There's no pee pee in there anymore. No, there's no pee pee. There's in there. BBs in there's there. BBs in there. Lots of them. Lots of them. Do you think they? I don't think they were actually there. I think that may have been Candyman starting to fuck with her because she's yeah. about to fuck him over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, most likely. Because then, quote unquote, Candyman yeah. comes into the with the hook the, in his hand. Yeah, uh, but it's really just like some gang members with holding a hook in his hand. He didn't have a stump. And they try and kill her, but Jake saves the day. He they kill her so bad. They just kind of knock her out and leave her. Yeah, they just really, really hit her with the, yeah, the, the, the hook. Su- the back of the hook. But I'm wondering if they stabbed her once or something, because she, there was a lot of blood coming from her when she was lying on the ground when Jake came in. There was blood, like, surrounding her head. Was it that scene? Mm-hmm. And then she ends up oh, interesting. being saved, and okay, Jake's yeah. all mad. He's like, you told, you said you wouldn't tell anyone. And it's like, yeah. well, you, I'm sure you called the cops. Yeah, I know, right? How well, else did he save her? Nobody calls the cops. She self shots the cuckoo. Well, she says he saved her, so he had to call he, someone to go get her. These oh. kids are driving by this time. Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so stupid. <laughs> How did I not realize that? <laughs> he said, okay, give me your keys. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> He's signaling just fine. Then we get Helen has to pick out the fake candy man from a lineup. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, because when they're in the bathroom, what do they say? What does the leader say? I hear you're looking for Candyman, bitch. Yeah, and then it immediately cuts to a, a police lineup where it's like, number one, step forward. I hear you're looking for Candyman, bitch. And then it goes through one through five. <laughs> and on the fifth one. Obviously, it's well, him. Yeah, it's, yeah. Well, it's not Candyman, but fake Candyman. Uh, and she points him out. She's got a big... Puffed out eyeball at this oh, point. Oh, yeah. They kicked her I ass. guess that's what cut open into the blood. Mm, just her eye true, bleeding. Maybe. Um, and then, yeah, detective wants to... Uh, the, yes, they're, they're kind of thanking her because now she's able to testify in court against these gang members. Yeah, who were responsible. Yeah. Actually, no, they were responsible for everything up to this point. Yes. All the murders that have been happening have been this fake Candyman. Yes. But also because of this, yeah. the real Candyman can come out of basically his little slender because the power of him is people have to believe. And now because this guy has been putting the yeah. thought of Candyman into the everyone's rumor. thoughts. Yeah. Uh, you ever see Elf? Like with Wolf. Yeah. yeah. That's how Santa had his sleigh powered. Exactly. Is by how many people believed in Santa Claus. Which is actually very much like Freddy Krueger as well. If kids don't believe in him, he won't be able to get them which is just like it because if the kids were no longer afraid of it uh petty wise then it had no power it was powerless powerless who did it first oh who knows it's just, <laughs> just a stupid question <laughs> why is it so no, stupid no, Find it's, just, a it's just one of those things like what you're trying to the say power is, of love type you know that's just uh it's not a stupid question. I know, I know. It, it, it's I was an being interesting funny. question. No, well, no one laughed except for me when I, I laughed out loud and probably peaked my microphone. <laughs> it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a cliche. Yeah, cliche motif. 
cliche works or trope. There we are. Trope. But you're 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 kind of trying to use a feeling for the power of something mm. rather than anything like real. I I don't that was the best way I could explain. I didn't, well, that's not like a dam that is powered by water. That's real. But emotions and thoughts are not, you're saying. Something like <laughs> they that. They hold no power in reality. But he's real now. He's real now because you think of him. And well, she I think he would have went away if he wasn't able to get to her because he said his, his name five times when she didn't believe. Yeah. And then she started to believe a little bit. But then when she got the r- fake Candyman yeah. caught, she didn't believe it anymore because she says yeah, Jake, like, Candyman's not real. Yeah. So Candyman's feelings are hurt. And he's like, no, people need to believe. And now I want you, Helen. Yeah. And Jake was, totally hates her now. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She's like, you lied. You're, you're going to keep it a secret. So we see the real Candyman for the yes. first time in the parking garage. In the parking garage. She's nice, looking for his car. Nice little one shot of her. Uh, well, it's uh, it's like a... Oh, I forgot the name of it. When the the one shot of her walking and the other shot of Candyman are filmed simultaneously. Mm. And the scene, I don't know how to... Okay, a, a live scene, I We can just say it was good cinematography. Hey, it was good cinematography, guys. Thanks. And she's walking to her car and we just hear, Helen... And I thought he was going to say her name five times. Helen. He sounds a lot better. Just going to say it. Helen. I wasn't pointing to you because I meant you. I meant Candyman. Oh. Tony Todd. Oh. Also, fun fact, because I don't think we mentioned it, this is actually our second Clive Barker movie because it's based on a Clive Barker story called The Forbidden The Forbidden what? The Forbidden. Just The Forbidden, Stephen. Why can't you leave it at that? Because I don't know what he's talking about. The Forbidden? Yeah. That's too esoteric for me. Get in the net. Get in the... Get the the now. Did you say get in the net? (laughs) I did it backwards. Get in the now. Get the net. (laughs) You would have to say gal in the net. Wow, you messed that up. No, I got there. Gal? Gal. Because now, if you reverse them, get in the now, you would have to say gal in the net if you really wanted to reverse them. Where are you getting a G? Uh, get. Get in the now. (laughs) Gal in the net. Please trust me. Uh, No. You know it. You know it to be true. Please (laughs) trust me, Brandon. No, I don't believe in urban legends. All right. All right. I think this is a great intro to the real Candyman. Yeah. It's sexy. He's crazy. He's scary. We see the hook. We see the hook. He's menacing. And she's just kind of single tear, but she's frozen. Yeah, and she freaks the fuck out because they get drunk. Yeah. Yeah, they start partying together, and there's like great shots of them ch- clinking glasses. And now we see the dog again. What part of the dog? Well, we see the body first. We never saw the dog's you were body. You down. Because she wakes up, and it's, it's a bloody massacre. Yeah, and then she looks up and see the old horse's head on the ground. This was insane. And we just hear screaming, too, which is so good as she's waking up. And you see she's all bloodied up, and she checks if it's Checking her. Checking if it's her. She checked her gooch, too, which was funny. Yeah, well, from your gooch <laughs> yeah, to your groin, she knows. your groin to your gullet. Wow. Wow. The gobble. Gobbly goop. Guts. Gullet Gooch. Fuck, I Goodbye, it Anthony. Goodbye, He's Anthony. Gone. He's Where'd gone. Where'd he go? That's what... what He's out What's for a name? run. Marianne. That's what Marianne is asking. M A. M I A? Marianne. Oh. M- oh. Do you think that's on purpose? Ma. Mom. No, Ma. Marianne. I need a. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> Calm down. Hold on. This is crazy. <laughs> I think you're revealing something very important here. No. Marianne's screaming. We see blood everywhere. She attacks Helen. She attacks Helen. Makes sense. Her baby's missing. Her dog so, is dead. And Helen has a butcher's knife in her hand. So she butchers Marianne just a little bit. Yeah, because she's getting her the little, fuck off. She's getting a little aggressive. She says, okay, stop. Well, she's just as confused, too. And then we don't even get a to breathe because the cops bust down the door. <laughs> and she's over top of Marianne With holding the knife all knife. bloody. Yeah. They take her away. She's under arrest. Yeah, but they do it in a very nice way. They don't use violent force. They just kind of pick her up and carry her out like she's part of the witness protection program. Well, they kind of have to because Marianne attacks her with... She gets a hold of the thing, the butcher knife, and attacks yeah. her. And they're like, no, no, no. And they take yeah. her out. And there's a great shot of outside of the apartment yeah. going down the hall. And there's a helicopter. Yeah. So good. Yeah, really But now cool. it's her descent into madness. Because uh, now she's in the interrogation room. 
I wouldn't even call it that because they don't believe her. They just tell her. You yeah. did it, didn't you? Well, well, no. They You said they did it. You did it. Yeah. Where's the baby? Just answer me. I don't know. I didn't do it. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Look. Because even when they tell her what happened, they they don't say what actually happened. They say that she came out of the bathroom and just attacked Marianne right away, oh, which isn't true. Or, or yeah, what, that's So what, it's all from Marianne's perspective yeah. at this point. Detectives suck. It's insane. But she is released because they can't find the body of Anthony. Which is crazy in my mind. Yeah. You, you can keep her in a hole. Because the dog was still dead. Yeah. Dog's dead. Because we see the head. That was crazy. Yeah. Um, Baby's And it's gone. funny. As soon as she's home, she's in the bathtub. And Trevor's like, all right, I know all this shit's going down, but I'm going to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> and she's like, where were you last night? She gets the yeah. one phone call. And it shows the apartment. He's not there. And he lies here. Because he's like, I was sleeping. Yeah. Come on. Just sleeping. Come on already. Dreaming of dreaming of you. Yeah. But he's lying. And now he leaves to go to school to have some more fun because he's lying. With his nice hot students. Stacy. Has got it going on. No, Stacy's mom has got it going we on. We didn't see her in this film. I know, but it's it's true. It's fact, Stephen. It's been immortalized into song. Just like Candyman. Mm-hmm. I love the Candyman song, but that's not for the episode. You're going to sing it at the end. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Stephen. Now she's looking through some slides. Do you know what those are? Um, They're like, like pictures. Film, yeah, like the film slides. It's almost like going through the gallery in your phone, but it was like actual pictures <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. in a circle that yeah, you yeah. could flip through with a, a remote. Yeah. Clicky, clicky. And what? And how did we see these pictures? Projected right. onto the wall. Onto the wall. What we see in the picture, Candyman. Well, a picture of him. Oh, a mural I, of him. No. When oh, she's looking in... She does the zoom in. Yeah. Enhance. Enhance. And it's her reflection because he's in the mirror. Behind, the man in the mirror. The man in the mirror. Ow! Candy man. <clears throat> candy man. Okay. In the, the mirror. mirror. Okay. See, I tried. We got there, though. Slowly. But surely. Like this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Just a, a wheel slowly turning. We're getting so there. So he's in the picture. Right. Uh, she is then in her bathroom and she opens the fucking medicine cabinet and he's like, come here. And he sticks his hand through the fucking wall. Yeah. Tries to hook her. And then he's all over the place. They're yeah. playing tag. Yeah. She jumps outside of her apartment. He's in the hallway. She goes back in her apartment. She's behind him in the kitchen. Uh, she doesn't, does she grab skizzers? No. No, but she is being oh, told. She... Yeah. Yeah. Her life for Anthony's. Yeah. Quid pro quo. Where's the Quo-quo. baby? Uh, your life Guacamole. Friend. Yeah. And he hooks her in the back of the neck against her fridge. Yeah, because he's uh, pissed off at her disbelief yep. and the capture of the fake Candyman. Yeah. Pissed him off, man. He's pissed mad. Him off. He's getting weak. But at the same time, he's sort of a, uh, a mystery. Right. Because he seems pissed, but then by the end, he's like, oh, yeah, you kind of remind me. <laughs> Of the girl I loved. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm going to make you want to die. Yeah. And it's almost like this two-part story of why he wants her. Because at first it's like, you're making people not believe in me, so I'm going to use that because it turns out yeah, you look like the person that they don't actually name that I fell in yeah. love with and painted her boobies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for whatever reason, I thought that was like body painting. He uh, literally no. painted her boobies. <laughs> No. Painted a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the former is better. I'm an art snob. <laughs> you are an art snob. It's true. But poor Bernie, man. Oh. Fucking Bernie shows up. Oh, God. And now Helen is going to be framed for something else. Yeah. Her bestest friend's dead body. Yeah. Because Trevor comes in from boinking Stacy. Yeah, my goodness. And Helen's holding a knife. And Bernie is sliced from the... Groin to the gullet. Gobbly goo. Gobbledy gook. Little gooby goop. Hello. I love how he's framing her, though. This is all... Yeah. Cr- it, it takes a turn in the sense where he just kills everybody else, but then all of a sudden he's, like, playing with her in a way that you find out he wants her... He He's making her want to die, basically. Yeah. Yeah. And he says, like, let's be immortalized together. Has this sort of uh, 
this lore, this. Rumor. Yeah, it almost seems like it's a. Uh, what's that word? Like Anakin Sky, like a prophecy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That they're supposed to fulfill. And actually, a lot of. A lot of. Uh, things to back that up with the murals that paint a picture mm-hmm. usually that's like a used as a prophecy and like a, a paint uh murals of her that we see eventually very much so just like that the green eyes do you think Candyman was making those because he's a painter or do you think it makes sense that yeah. way right because that was his yeah. layer yeah makes he, he must get bored he's just a crazy guy that's a great artist and once an artist always an artist yeah and we also get uh, flashes at one point of Anthony in the lair. I think it's when she's in uh, the police station or something. Right. Um, looking through slides. And he's just like in a nest. He's I just... also like that he says, sorry, he says, uh, I am rumor. Yes. That was very cool. Yeah, you wrote that in all caps in your notes, I bet. I did. Jesus. I did. Um, yeah, so he will do anything to make her want to die. Anything. 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 And Even... he doesn't specify. He just does say anything, literally. Yeah. And then, so she's framed for fucking her best friend's death. And this time they're oh, like, God. what? <laughs> the use of the fucking in the middle. She's blamed for fucking her best friend's death. It's crazy. <laughs> so at this time, they're not even going to interrogate her. Yeah. They just send her to the psych and ward. the husband's just smoking a cigarette in front of this bloody oh, corpse yeah. of Bernadette. He's just in the same room. You guys want a drink? Yeah, just, oh boy. <laughs> And fun fact, he is the stepfather of John Connor in Terminator 2. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's the only other thing I recognize him from. I didn't know John Connor had a stepfather. He did, because Sarah Connor's taken away. It's sad. We'll get there. All right. Not today. What? Not today. Okay. But she's visited in the psych ward. Not by Trevor. By Candyman. It's a great, cool, fun shot. Give me a kiss. Of him just horizontally lowering onto her and then when all the doctors run in he's just lowering under the bed <laughs> in the same manner just being pulled down which was really well done because yeah. it didn't look like any like part Close. of his body was being pulled yeah. more or like yeah. his middle abdomen wasn't sagging down which, like it looked like he was on a, an invisible board he was or, so or like straight. they were holding him by his legs and he had great ab strength yeah something like i that. don't know it was just really yeah. well done because his legs were never in the shot but my god she wouldn't give him a kiss though that's yeah. just rude <laughs> and then he sinks under the bed and then she goes he's under the bed he's under the bed and they jab her with uh that stuff from reanimator yeah that green goo but this time it puts her to sleep yeah it's just real medicine a little too much choir here at this point, I wrote. Yeah. It, it's in almost like every piece of music. Guys, I liked it. It's okay. I liked it. My only problem is to make there be more like build up to suspense, don't have it as much, and then have it come into the track. It could have been at used some point. better. Yeah. That's to, all I'm to saying. To aid in the shots. Yeah. Because it was used so much and because it was so loud and prominent over the other instruments. Like that one time, I forget what part, but it was really good. Almost like circus music mixed yeah. with the gothic but then as soon as the choir came in it overpowered it right and that whole scene when it was transitioning to something would have been better if it was just yeah. that track and then the next scene was like choir actually i think Bill. this is that the actual scene you're talking about because she's sitting at the desk of is it the detective um no it's just a doctor Oh, no, yeah, she sees a psychiatrist or yeah. something. and uh, she learns that they've been injecting her for a month, yeah, and so she probably doesn't month. remember it, and he's just seeing if... Oh, right, he's a psych working for her lawyer. Yeah. He's on the case. And he shows her the footage of her in bed. There's no yeah. no Candyman. No Candyman, and uh, she, they're just seeing if she's suitable to even go to court at this point. But no, she's been committed. She has been committed. Yeah. And but she's going to prove it to him. And then, yeah, and this is where the choir scene, because she slowly turns and looks into a mirror and says Candyman five times. And then Candyman pops up behind the dude. And gives him a little hook. Oh, he and, hooks him in good. The G to G. Just like fucking yeah, yeah. And puppet gyrating. Looks fucking... like Jeff Dunham. Yes. Because <laughs> he done him good. He done him up good. He done him. He done got. He done gone killed and him. And then she... And then, yeah, Candyman Gets says... Gets sucked out of the yeah, well, window. I was going to say, yeah, he says something to her. I don't know if you knew. I don't know either. I mean, he says something Same every sort of time. Same rumor. And then he just gets dead man. Sorry, he recites some Shakespeare to yes, her. essentially. And gets thrown out the window and just flies. Well, it looks like he's sucked through. Yeah. Like, it's really cool. Like it was in the dead man, um, that's what they call it in special effects. 
when, it's when he just, just a, a yank on yeah. a rope for the actor. Yeah, because it looks like his legs and his yeah. arms just go just, limp in yeah. front of him. <laughs> but he gets pulled, pulled up yeah, like, like a vampire. And it's cool because he's actually just showing her where to escape. Because yeah. she goes along the ledge. Because they're pounding on the door at this point. Yeah. And she goes to the next room where a nurse sees this crazy woman at the window yes. and is like, oh, are you okay? And she just fucking knocks her down. And Now, let me ask you this. Do, do, do you think Candyman can... Do the can can? ...physically manipulate the world? Or is this just a visual, visualization of what Helen sees and she's actually doing all of the actions in reality? But no, I think she's actually doing all this breaking the window killing the guy oh no no no. can't no Candyman's actually there Candyman can manipulate the physical world is what you're saying like when he's being sucked out the window and stuff when the window breaks because in the in the camera he's not there but w- this all of a sudden well, that's just it he's an urban legend but i do believe he's real like he is there he can he can manipulate the physical world like he, i guess he can yeah. he can break a window and he can kill a guy and this isn't a representation. Or who knows? Maybe the one scene where he was floating above her, she wasn't actually seeing him. Because at this point, I yeah. think she is slowly going crazy. But yeah, that's he a... is real. I okay. no, he's there. Okay, because I'm not fully convinced of that. No, she wouldn't. I don't think she took Anthony. I don't think. No, there's too much for her to do when she was already in an, another place. She did black out. No, I know. So we don't know. No, but with all that's happening at the same time. Like it wouldn't add up. It was right. too much because she woke up in uh, and there's in Anthony's apartment and the baby and the mother. She I woke mean, up there yeah. when, when she was in the parking garage. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of time. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to make you think. If she's going crazy, if she is actually seeing him. Uh, okay, that's all I wanted to know. For example, at the end when he takes Anthony to the woodpile and she has to chase him out. I highly doubt she brought Anthony to the woodpile, went back into the fucking building, woke up. Okay. Okay. All right. That's what you think. And there's sequels where she's dead and Candyman comes back. So, no, I don't think. Well, Candyman definitely enters people's minds. That is proven. Okay. But I don't think there's anything necessarily proving that Candyman can interact with the physical world mm-hmm. or if it's just Helen doing it and we're just seeing a visualization of what Helen sees. And that's how the movie is shot, is through her perspective, whenever we no, see Candyman. No, because Jake okay. sees him. At the end of the movie, when he burns to death, Jake sees Candyman in the fire and Which goes strange, and, retrieves, right? and retrieves his hook. Which is strange. And gives the actual hook to the... Well, doesn't that's give the, it. Yeah. Which is strange to me. Because then, does that mean he's interdimensional? Is he non-human? He's, well, yeah, I think he's a ghost. He's a ghost? With a lot... Well, that's just it. The more people that believe in him, his energy gets bigger. Like, if you're going to compare it to how we think of real ghosts being energy the more people thinking is probably creating energy to bring him back so i believe the more yeah maybe slowly he regains his capabilities to interact with the physical world 100 percent. maybe that's the case too because a lot of people say too when ghosts like even poltergeists and stuff release energy and are able to get in contact with us somehow it's usually in one burst Mm. because they have to absorb and regenerate Yeah. yeah yeah um Oh, that's yeah, 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 and I like that the movie leaves us open ended too, and that's why he's pissed at her too yes. because yeah, he's great, like you're taking my energy it. away yeah. now. You're trying to prove that this is all a myth. Yeah. So she escapes. She goes back to her yeah, apartment. Yeah. Well, yeah, she jumps out the window, climbs onto it, knocks on the adjacent yeah, window, kills some, the nurse. Some nurse opens. Is like, yeah, come on through. Kills this nurse. Takes her clothes like Hitman and runs home. Yeah. And the home is completely pink, yeah, being painted. And I could have sworn Trevor was it was going to be a twist and been like, no, he's not with Stacy. <laughs> yeah. He's with Aunt, Ma- Ma- Anne Marie. I thought you were going to say Aunt May. No, Mary Ann. Yeah, yeah. Because she likes... She... She's Ma. Yeah, yeah. But because she was wearing the pink, pink so yeah. I thought if they connected that, that would have been so funny. But no, he's yeah, moving in with Stacy. painting the apartment pink. And, and he was all Helen had left. Yeah. And they're scared of her. They're terrified. She's terrified. like, I don't, I don't like the color scheme. I was so confused at first, too, because Stacy turns around and just starts bawling. Yeah. And it's like, Trevor, I'm like, why is she so... And then I'm like, oh, wait, everyone thinks she's a fucking murderer. Makes sense. And Stacy's an emotional wreck. Well, she's like just a university student, too. Yeah, what are you going to do? She's supposed to be young and... Young, dumb. Was she blonde? Yes. How dare they? (laughs) For shame. Perpetuate these stereotypes. I think... Yeah, I think most of the... That's right. That's just 90s. 
females were blonde, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Except Monica from Friends. She's not in this movie. But she's in the 90s. Oh, oh for crying out loud. <laughs> oh, why did I just sound like a fucking grandma? Oh, for crying, for out, crying out loud, out loud. Steven. Um, so yeah, she escapes, she gets there, she's like, Trevor, you're all that I had left, you son of a bitch. Yeah. And basically this is when she gives in to Candyman. Yep. That's it. Yeah, yeah. She's had it. She's standing on the bridge, she's thinking really hard in the middle of fucking public. <laughs> <laughs> great shot, because it's looking at the water with the mist and stuff. Yeah. And you're like, oh, great blue hues and yeah, shit yeah. like this. They did a whole it's like, color grading, and she's wearing blue. She's wanted for murder. Yeah. It's the early hours of the morning, yeah. and she's standing in a vacant street. It's Chicago. It's, just, it's artistic. I know. Yeah. I get it. But it's just funny that there's definitely there's, squads of cops looking for There's gang members who walk around. And then she just easily goes back to Cabrina Green. Yeah. Also, no cops anywhere. No. I'm nitpicking now. It's just funny. Well, maybe this is why they ignore two 911 calls. They just don't have the amount of cops necessary to have around. <laughs> Here we go. The movie explains it. That's why there's no No, cops. you explained it. <laughs> no, I'm just using what the movie told me. It, was only, it wasn't this on the nose. Mm. It was only one thing that was on the nose. This is one. This is the greatest shot of the movie coming up. Right here, right now, when she has to oh, go to it. his lair. Yeah. Lair. She, she walks back into the medicine cabinet, and then there's this one shot of her going through these holes in the walls like three times. Uh and you mentioned that the camera was just on a horizontal stick that they just pushed right through. <laughs> not holes. a stick. <laughs> Some sort of rig. They're not passing the camera through well, by hand. Well, the rigs are usually on rails. The dollies. That's how the dollies work. No. Unless you're saying it's a upside Something down like mounted. This. There's some. There's stuff like yeah, like a big giant. They didn't boobs. have gimbals like that back then. Ninety two? Are you? I don't come know. on, dude. Yes, they did. I don't know. Jurassic Park came out like a year that's, later. See, that's the movie I thought of too. Yeah. When I saw when I'm I sorry. see the Yeah, I'm sorry. If Dra- <laughs> Either way, it was fucking amazing Eight how it was million one dollar shot. film. They can't buy gimbals. <laughs> they spent it all on the crane in and 92, helicopter. In 92, that's a lot more than It is. That's true. That's 30 million. And that's just it. If they can afford a helicopter, yeah. maybe it was a little helicopter. <gasps> the first one. Alien. I don't know. What is with you and comparing this to Alien? No, I like, I know an Alien oh, technology. Cause... An alien helicopter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Either way, it was fucking awesome. <laughs> Shout out to the Alien that worked on this film. Because it's almost like you had to be following her yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. And then she goes into his lair, and he's sleeping. Yeah, soundly. She grabs a pair of skizzers and just stakes them right in the heart. So I guess this is, she didn't really give up. Or she may have given up and then saw him sleeping and was like, oh, I'm going to try and kill him first. And he just immediately gets up and yanks the scissors out. And he's like, oh, hey. Hey, This is where we see the rest of the mural. Sorry. Yeah. Before she notices him just taking a nap on the fucking concrete slab. Yeah. We see the mural of him actually being hit by the hooligans. The Romans. Yeah, the Romans. 1810. No, yeah, the hooligans and his hands up. So we're... Kind of being shown his that arm. there's an, a mural for everything yeah. going on. His, his arm's getting torn off. She stabs him. He's like, oh, oh, oh hey. dear. You all right? Pulls the Thanks scissors out. Yeah. And takes over. He's like, I'm going to switch you for Anthony. Yeah. And he carries her in his arms and lays her down the stone altar. Very, very religious-y like. Yeah. Dracula-esque. Yes. But what happens? It's scary. I forget. We know where the bees are coming from. These poor actors got bees down their throat for this shot. (laughs) And a fun fact about that. So Mm -hmm. he opens his coat and it's got this cool chest. It's all skin and ribcage. And that's where the beehive is. And then he opens his mouth and there's bees. And he kisses her and he makes them immortal. Yeah. So real bees. Mm -hmm. Something to do with how old they were they weren't supposed to sting or not sting okay. as much juveniles yeah um but at the same time some did sting obviously yeah. so he had a very good lawyer tony todd Ooh. one thousand dollars per sting <gasps> beautiful not too shabby Thirty thousand. what'd he get i think he did 11 stings in total okay and i'm not sure if that's the first movie or if all the movies he was in i think there's yeah. three beautiful. but even still thousand yeah. bucks a pop don't mind if I do. Thank you, unions. Unless that was all he was paid. 
Oh my god! <laughs> In lieu of your actor payment, you get nothing. No, Good that, day, yeah. you sir. So he was he was compensated. Yeah. Good. Um, but then comp B spaded nothing. Nope. Comp comp trying B. to get B in there. Yeah, yeah. Compensated, H- honey. No comp B sting. Comp stinks. I like honey. I like turtles. I can tell. It's a meme. <gasps> Imagine it. You know the turtle chocolates. Imagine that with honey. Oh, I like chocolate. Yeah. All right, we should finish. Okay, I've already <laughs> finished twice. Wow. <laughs> Good job, Helen. <laughs> no, so. We saw he doesn't actually end up killing her. He yeah. takes Anthony out to this big, giant, trash wood pile thing, yeah. waits for her there. Almost like a pyre, if I would say oh, so. Oh, very much so. Yeah. Might even be the same spot that he died originally. Mm. Calm B. Right? That's crazy. Calm B. And Helen green. goes out to save Anthony, and he's like, I knew you'd come, because it turns out he can't kill her for her to become well, immortal. I'm skipping ahead here. Is this when she climbs and goes inside? Is that what you're saying? The big trash pile. Yeah, she climbs a trash pile, and she brings the hook with her. Yes, she grabs and a hook. And then right when she's going to the trash pile, the hook is the last thing anyone sees, and old... And that anyone is Jake. Timothy, Jake, that's his name. He's not old, he's young, he's a little boy. Old young Jake, the dog. Old soul. Uh, yeah, is looking and says, Candyman's here. Candyman. And rallies up the entire community. All of them. To go finally burn Candyman at the they stake. They put all the gas on yeah. and the and the kerosene. But unfortunate little Helen, digging her way through this trash, finds little Anthony. baby Anthony. Little Anthony. These names are hard to... Jake, Anthony. I want to call Come him... Come on, if I'm yeah. remembering them. You have paper and pen. I don't look down. <gasps> I never look down. I'm still on the first page. And Candyman's in there with her and says, I'm, you did it. Yeah. I lied to you. And she's like, you lied to me. Yeah, because she thought he had to kill her. Yeah. She was just giving herself up. But apparently, I think Anthony is even part of this because he says a new miracle. Yeah. So basically, he's making a new urban legend that's yes. including her because that's where they get their power. And that'll bolster his power even more. Beautiful. So if he killed her, she would have just been another yeah. sweets for the sweets. But this has lore behind it. True and it works. artiste. It works. The better the story, the more powerful. The bigger the fire. A true thespian of art. The sweeter the candy. He holds her as the the pyre is burning. But she sticks him. She sticks him good with a piece of wood. With piece, it's on fire though. Ah, his weakness. Yeah, because the bees burn from within him. That was cool. Yeah. And she starts running away. Well, He's, she crawls. She There's crawls, no room to run. And a piece of wood falls, a burning piece of wood. Right? But and she saves Anthony. She's catching a fire, and she crawls out of the pyre. She gives Anthony to Marianne. Here's so she, your here, baby. Here's your baby. And just drop. She did. Her hair is burnt off. Poor Helen. Uh, but. She's a hero little, of the pyre. Little Jacob, looking into the fire, sees the corpse of what is presumed to be Candyman. Candyman Or dead. a homeless guy. It's hard to tell. There's no features. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> but he finds the hook. Oh, that's... what. Well, no, Helen brought it in. No, she brings, like, a hook with a handle. That the, is what... No, that, no, the one... No, no, no. Because when you see Candyman's hook on his arm, there's, like, a big uh, screw sticking out. And when Jake gives the hook onto the grave, it's a little stump, and there's a little screw sticking out. Okay. He made it. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure the movie <laughs> is supposed to make you think the way you are. Like, yes, is he real? Yeah, is he real? The so ambiguity. Either way. That, it's an urban yeah. legend. Yeah, yeah. So good job, fucking. <laughs> good job, Charles. Um, but it's not over because we get Trevor. He feels bad. Well, no, this is after the funeral. Trevor's at the funeral. Yeah. And they lower the body and then they look over and all, all of s- Kelbasa yeah. Green... <laughs> Is coming to pay respects. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I was a little confused, though, because do they Believe, think yeah. that she's a hero? I would argue yes, because she saved a member of the community. So why did they give the hook to her? Kind of like a... You hold... killed the myth of Candyman. So hold Thank on you. to this like a, yeah. to protect so, well, it more or something? They don't need it anymore, because if they keep it around, they're going to remember. Touche. That's so, a good way to look at it. Yeah. You toss it in, it's dead with her. The story of I look the like an man. expensive coffin. Shit, just fucking and throw that drop shit on. <laughs> I mean, it's just gonna be buried, yeah. but still. Um, and, and then she, Trevor goes home. And Trevor goes bad. home, and he's just sitting in his jeans on the toilet. Stacy, I'm taking a shit. Make me a sandwich, <laughs> yeah. is what he says. And she's all right. So she's cutting up meat. Yeah, it's not his meat though. Someone else is gonna cut that Yeesh. up. 
Uh, and she's getting slowly pissed off because he's not even pissing in there. Not even pooing. He's not even pooing. Full he's reciting. On. He should have just like played Angry Birds or something. It's not Candyman, he says, though. <gasps> Candy Crush? No. No? He looks in the mirror. They're, they didn't even have little mobile phones then. Yeah. And that's maybe why he got bored and he was like, Helen. Yeah, he looks in the mirror and says, Helen. And then he does it again. Helen. And then maybe. Helen. And one more time. Helen. And then she appears behind Alan. him. Oh. Helen. Too many. Helen. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Haven't you seen that where it's the chipmunk? Alan. Yeah, Alan. Alan, yes. Do you like how I morphed it into yes, that? That was okay. pretty funny. Okay. But if I, you said Alan a few more times, he would have appeared. So <laughs> No, not Alan. <laughs> the chipmunk. And she appears behind him. And she gets him with the hook. She gets him I with don't the really hook. like how she's holding on to it. Yeah. It's not as yeah. scary. It's like a brass knuckle. Um, But it was cool. Yeah. I it liked it. I like him. how it wasn't like a happy ending. Yeah. The, for... the legend continues. I mean, maybe it was. Maybe she wanted to be immortal. If if you're cheering for Candyman, then it is a happy ending. I would assume they ended up together. Candyman and I don't Helen. think... I See, now i got to watch the sequel. Well, I don't know if Candyman Helen comes back. Candyman would be angry at her. Oh, yeah. Because she kind of ran away from him at the very end. And, but and she killed still the died, story. so it... Well, he, he's not powerful anymore. Only mm. she is now. Because mm. people fear her, maybe. Because now she is the mural. Which is... Yeah, that's true. But why did... But it's like a light. She's like an angel in the mural because it's flame and yeah. then she's all in white. So so maybe it's like an urban legend that they use against outsiders. Mm, she's an so angel. She's the protector. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah. And when they're of lowering Kibasa her green. when they're lowering her coffin, um, he says he says something biblical and he says, uh, no matter what her intentions are, she is still a yeah, he used like something synonymous yeah, the with priest. soldier. Yeah, yeah, she's still a servant of you, a soldier yeah. of you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Very neat. Very nice. Cool. Pat on the back. Yay, Yay. Tony Todd. Tony. Fun fact: What? Tony Todd's doing the voice of Venom in the new Spider-Man game. <laughs> That's hot. Oh, you think he's hot? He is a great voice. You think Venom's hot? Yeah. Okay. No, but no, that voice is very iconic. Like I would put yeah. it up there with. The best of them, really. Iceman. Iceman cometh <laughs> and taketh away. <gasps> wow. Thank you so Well, we got to review it or rate it. We, we already gotta reviewed review it. it. All right. So, guys, it opens with this. You first, Shoddy. Okay. Would you like? Would you didn't like? I didn't like Candyman. Oh. You... I wasn't as afraid of him as I would have liked to be. It was, I know you're of the age of cheesy, but I am not. And I, felt, I didn't think it was cheesy. Well, I'll give my opinion then. <laughs> I thought it to be... He he was lame. Lame is too negative, but I'll, I'll use it until I can't find another word. His motive was just... He, he was an, art, an artsy guy. He was Shakespearean. He was a little cheesy to me because he was such like this Shakespearean vampire. Well, he's also from 1817. Yeah. And fair enough. And I find people from that era to be cheesy because I've mentioned that before. Uh, August Rush. No, Oliver Twist. <laughs> um, so it, it was a really good like detective whodunit show mm -hmm. where like she's a journalist getting to the bottom of it. I liked that aspect of the movie a lot. And I'm glad that was the majority. Which of this ended movie. up being a very 90s thing. Yeah. A lot of horror movies yeah. were actually like cop psychological dramas. cop yeah. drama, Seven, Silence yeah. of the Lambs. Detective, yeah. Um, yeah, that was a fun part of the movie. But I actually, the horror aspect of it, I was not too excited or intrigued by. Um, and I think I chalk it down to the, there was some inherent cheesiness. Not necessarily negative, just not necessarily my cup of tea mm -hmm. for that specific aspect of the movie. But the fucking music score, the cinematography, uh, the the whole detective cop drama, who done it? Is she going crazy? Who's telling the truth? Very cool. Where's this baby? We're getting cool flashback sequences. We're getting flat one flash forward sequence uh, that's just cut in there. Um, super cool. Well shot. I want to give it a 3.8 out of 5. That's a lot better than I thought. And I want to say good. Good movie. Very good movie. What about you? 3.8. That, that's pretty fucking good. You like that? You think that's fair? Well, I was going to go 3.5 because I don't do the points. That's right. But yeah, I was going to go 3.5. Yeah. Um, the music could have been 
uh, utilized better because mm-hmm. the music itself was great, but it was just all too too yeah. much in your face. Too at, much at and a little too, too samey at some points. They actually did have a theme though with the piano. They did, but yeah. it seemed like there was like three themes that yeah. just repeated through most of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like change it up a little yeah, bit. Make a score rather than. It almost felt like it was thrown together too quick. Okay, yeah. It was good. Yeah, it sounded cool. L- cool but it was instruments. too little yeah. in the fact that it was just the same thing yeah, yeah. a lot. Um, like at the end, there was my favorite one that came in. I think it's when she's going back to give herself to Candyman, and it's that yeah, um, circusy like thing that sounded great and then it was just more of the choir over yeah. it so it sounded like everything yeah. else in the movie differentiated yeah, yeah. a little bit um cinematography was great the aerial shots the one shots shots of candy man and yeah. shit like coming out of nowhere all the lighting too the gaffer whoever gaffed the mm-hmm. lighting guy oh, fucking cool all the actors did really well yeah. i don't think there was anyone i didn't like in the movie other than trevor but that's only because because he, you're not supposed Trevor. to. <laughs> uh, yeah, three and a half. Yeah, super almost cool. Almost four. Thank you. Bouncing back and forth. I love yeah. movies that work with urban legend type shit yeah. and the whole power aspect yeah. of like what we were talking about. So that was cool. Oh, it's like cryptids. Yeah. Thank you, Acid Horrors. Acid Horror, you are the best. Thank you so much for requesting this fantastic movie. What? I thought I heard a fucking chipmunk. <laughs> Alan. What are we watching next? Do we want to watch that? <laughs> are we going to be up for it? Like, we've already been through enough, like, a lot today. Is my brain going to be cool with it? We'll figure it out after we hit stop record, but I'm sure we so can So we're take... not picking from the box? Uh, we will not pick from the box. All right. We will be watching Killing of a Sacred Deer. Whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> That's my question, too. I've watched it. All right. But it's all foggy. Guys, follow us on Twitter. Look at our little Instagram pictures. Eat us up on your favorite podcasting platform, Spotify, Apple Music, iHeartRadio. Amazon Music. What? Slap some stars. Make a little love. Make, give them some hugs. Get down tonight. Right? And if you liked what you hear, please tell your urban legend lover about our show. If you a real cryptid lover, you tell them about the the horror podcast sh- show known as Tangent Tangents of, horror, of horror, where we give our sweets to the sweet. <gasps> right? Except I was going to mention the poo and I didn't know how. Oh. Uh, yeah. The guys, thanks. Thank we, you. Thank you so much. Steven's very appreciative. I'm scratching a mosquito bite on my back. Oh. <laughs> 